Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your girl Amber here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're old, welcome back. If you're new, I really hope that you subscribe. If you're old and haven't subscribed, please subscribe. So, um, school starting back soon for high schoolers. It starts on Monday, but you know, for us college students, you know, it starts in two weeks, so we get extra days. So, um, since school starting back, I figured I'll tell a few stories about my experience, um, last year, which was my sophomore year. Now I'm gonna tell you the end of the story before I tell you the beginning, just to, just to spice things up. Listen to me when I tell you. I was not supposed to pass a certain class. When I tell you I wasn't supposed to pass that class, I wasn't supposed to pass at all. Like it was a miracle from God himself, like I was not supposed to pass that class. That, that's the end, I'm gonna tell you the beginning now. Two of my friends, and I, we took a certain class, you know, we're just going to call them, um, Jack and Jill. Okay. Um, so the class that we took was at the University of Southern Mississippi. I'm going to leave the professor's name out of it. That class was so hard. Like when I tell you, they, like, the um, subjects that we were learning about was Hinduism, Buddhism, Judaism, Islamic religions, you know, I have no problem with learning about new religions, you know, it's, it's fine, you know, I'm gonna stick to mine, which is Christian, but, you know. Um, there were just some words I just didn't know, like, it was words like this, and words like these. So these words I just haven't, like, I've never seen them before in my life, like, ever, like, I don't even know how to spell them at all. And the way her tests were set up, there was, it was all, like, fill in the blank. Like, not just like one word, you had to like write paragraphs and everything. And each, like it was like 50 questions or something like that. Some weird number. Anyway, we always waited till the last minute to study, which is not a good idea. Don't do that. If you have a test coming up in like next week, please study like a week before. But anyway, so we always studied the night before, all the time. So the first test, I didn't do well on it at all. I'm not even going to tell you what I made because no one knows what I made except for Jack and Jill. I'm never going to tell anybody else because it was that bad. Just know that. Our third test, we decided, you know what? We got to do what we got to do. We're going to cheat. We're just, we're just going to cheat. Now, you know those uh, tests that um, no matter how much you study for, no matter how much you look over the study guide and you know all this other stuff you study and then when you get the test you just looking like this is not what I studied for what is Okay, let's try the next page. Everyone's had that, that moment where you just looking like, I have no idea. So anyway, back to this cheating thing. So the night before, we were in the study room, you know, studying, and we had little note cards. They, well, not note cards, they just ripped up some paper, and it was about that big. So the thing about our teacher, we spelled one, like, letter, in, like, one incorrect thing spelled it wrong she's gonna mark it wrong so we're like you know what we know the information we're just gonna write a little cheat sheet you know a little some dates here uh, some words here you know just to get you know comfort that you know if we mess up we can look down so where we sat we sat at the top top row you know it's uh, me Jack and Jill all right so um we're sitting there we get our test you know my cheat sheet is like in, I had a watch at the time, it was inside my watch. So, you now we're just sitting there, I'm taking my test, you know, I, I know this stuff. I'm like, you know, I don't even need my cheat sheet, you know, I'm just writing everything down. You know, just looking like... Oh, I know that. Yes, Para Nevada. That's a myth. Go in there, I'm writing my stuff, you know, and next to me I hear a thud. So I look over, obviously, because it's a noise and it distracted me. And my friend, um, Jack, he drops his pencil. So Jill tries to pick it up. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So I'm writing, you know, doing my own thing. And I hear another thud. Jill dropped her cheat sheet on the floor. So she, like, leans all the way back trying to get it, like, with her feet. 
before the teacher comes and walks by. So of course, I look by. Do y'all hear that beeping? Anyway, of course I look. I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm doing my test. You know, I haven't done anything. I don't even have a cheat sheet. So I look over. I'm like, okay, you know, I haven't done anything wrong. I'm doing my doing my test, you know, really concentrating. And then the teacher comes next to me. I'm sorry, Amber, but can you like move down that way? You know, I just suspect cheating in this area. Y'all, when I, t I, I'm sitting there and in my head, I'm like, for why are you here? I didn't even do anything, but okay. Politely say sure. Now everyone in the classroom is looking at me like I did something wrong. Y'all, I didn't even use the cheat sheet. I did not even use it. It's still in my watch. So I'm like, okay, cool. So I move, you know, to the um to where she told me to. After the test, I um come up to her. I was like, hey, why did you move me? I'm just a little curious. Like, did I do anything wrong? She's like, well, yeah, I couldn't move anybody. I was like, but why me though? I'm just a little curious. She tells me, well, you know, Amber, it, it is what it is. You know, just have a good day. <sighs> I just, I didn't, I never liked that lady. I never liked her. But anyway, about passing this class, um, I wasn't supposed to pass. That's, this is part one, so I'll do part two another time. So stay tuned in if you really want to watch it. So, to be continued. Bye. God bless.